What up, ladies and gentlemen? Big week in NWA powder this week. Episode 3 NWA Power 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 Welcome to everyone to episode three of NWA Power 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 Power. <laughs> we're just gonna wait a few minutes, let see if any any other people come in, and then we're gonna start our show. Momentarily. You got the host, you got the Minnesota Vikings fan, and then you have the second host, your co-host, Minnesota Silver Hunter here. Hopefully you guys are having a good night tonight. Hopefully you liked uh, NWA Power Power last night. The following contest is a TV title... I don't got no sound now. See? Let's play a little music. All right. <laughs> they need a little listening music. If you like 
in every way If it brings you back to when you were a kid You're just like me in Minnesota Vikings fan Minnesota Silver Roll Hunter When I was a kid I used to sit and watch on the floor Watching everyone I loved Like Ric Flair doing the strut Yes, 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 he's doing the strut If I never, never name I have memory loss Had two heart attacks, baby And 45 I feel like a kid inside when I watch that NWA <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about baby You're in the right place Don't you know that we're all just children inside We're all just children looking for a positive I look Don't you know that I love you, baby? Don't you know I watch you crazy? Don't you know that I watch you like a child? <laughs> if you never ever watched NWA you gotta take out some time Because you know that I love it, baby And never waste no time do 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 <laughs> Kick it out now, Vikings fan. NWA power, baby, I know. I love the fucking NWA show. When the power comes on, I know. If I never had had to grow. But now I'm an old man now. Like NWA power. <laughs> if I never had to grow up, baby, I would be like a baby flower. <laughs> if I never ever look my face in the mirror long, I would think I was 12 years old. Oh, that's long, long gone. If you never ever look in your face in the mirror too long, you would see all those wrinkles of baby won't grow no more. Why can't I ever see my face as a child and then WA? I remember when I watched it with my pop. Your way, you 
might think you might even be gay. I don't know what your friends have told you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Should I play? Uh, I don't know if I should play Metallica or. Here, I'll do our old intro song. Yeah. We'll get the old one going on. Yeah, we'll start it up in a couple minutes here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why we lost sound on that first intro. It's weird. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It, it's not playing the music, but it's playing the... Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I so don't do know. you like fucking NWA there, Fall Mouth Can? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Fall Mouth Can, do you love the NWA power? How about our channel? Do you love our channel, huh? Oh, fuck yeah. Really? <laughs> Thanks, man. How did that come? That's really saying a lot. I, I love you, bro. You, you like watching the show? Oh, fuck yeah. Damn. Awesome. <laughs> That's fucking weird why the music don't fucking work. Mm -hmm. I tried switching it around, switching it back, but it, it don't come back on. She don't got no fucking sound. She went, she went, it were, was working. I don't know what happened. I have no idea. If I never ever looked in my face. I said, I Episode 3, motherfuckers! Episode 3, baby, yeah! Episode 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, yeah! Hello, hello! Sick of my baby, yeah, yeah, yeah! Welcome to NWA Power. You're with your host, Minnesota motherfucking Vikings fan. What up, ladies and gentlemen? What's and your and your host also, Minnesota Silver Roll Hunter. Hey, what's up? What's up, motherfucker? Yeah, this is NWA Power episode three, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna break down the matches from uh, last night, and uh, I suppose we'll get right into the first match right here. Get right into this first battle. Or I think, actually, I think this is an interview 
with Ricky Martin first. Okay, thanks guys. Please welcome at this time oh, one Gibson. half of the NWA World Tag Team Champions. Rock and Roll this is Robert Gibson. Yeah. Uh. All right, Robert. This is a huge night for everybody. What does it mean for you and the Rock and Roll Express? What we're going to see later on? Well, I'm going to kick some ass there, man. Yeah, just, just a yeah. Christmas present or a big bag of toys because we won that match you while can, ago. Yeah, you can hear all my partner Ricky Morton yeah. gets a chance to win the heavyweight title, and that's how he rolls. Oh, this is a good idea. It makes me very happy for him to get a chance to go out there and do that. I'm probably his number one fan, and I'm sure these fans are here pulling for Ricky Morton. So, Ricky, all I got to say between myself and all these fans, brother, let's go out there and get it. There we go. You hear that? This is Tasha Steeles. The sad ass of the week, bro. Tasha Steeles. And from the graveyards of Tijuana, Mexico, Thunder Rosa. She is the best of all the I just turned it down a little bit uh, so we they can hear us. Good idea. Man, I don't like that ponytail fucking bun man. Needs a little more experience, but she's ready to challenge once again. It's one of the absolute in the end of the way we were. I said it before and I'll say it again. Every time you take a loss, it's a lesson learned. And as Tasha Steele's learned enough yeah, this, to take on a fighter like Thunder Rosa, coming off a big Thunder victory Rosa. against OVP. Thunder Rosa might be almost unbeatable here in the end of the day. Such is her talent level. She is my favorite competitor, male and female. Just an absolute phenom and a performer. Yeah, I think so too. I, I, Thunder Rosa has more oomph in there. Such a hard individual yep. to read her facial expression. I was glad when that was the explosion of rage you see. But here you see Tasha Steele's gamely fighting back. She's wearing the flag of course. On her knees, such as the pride of her heritage and how big a victory. Backwards chokehold. Oh, down and hits that son of a bitch. Trapped her on her bun. What you got, little girl, huh? What you got? Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, Molina's favorite protege at this point. Crown Jewel and Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa. Here's your winner, Thunder Rosa. See, that was pretty much all the way when you saw Thunder Rosa. Fuck yeah. I, I don't even I don't even know why they had that match to be honest with you. I really don't. That was like almost a waste of time because Thunder Rosa just beat the fuck out of Tasha Steele. <laughs> you know what I mean? It yeah. was just a 
it was like a tune-up match or something like that for the pay-per-view for fucking Thunder Rosa. Yeah, get her warm, get her warmed up. Get her ready for Friday night, huh? Yep. Yeah, hard times Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. The second NWA fucking pay-per-view, which I think is going to be a lot better than the first one. Uh, we'll get into that a little more. We'll get into these next matches and stuff, and then we'll we'll let you know as it goes on what's going on here because they announced some pretty big matches, I think. I think they added some big matches. The following contest is a TV title tournament match. One TV fall with six match. minutes, five seconds in the match. Introducing first, from Chesterfield, England, 240 pounds, one half of the wild cards, Tom Latimer. Which wild card is part of the script of ran by Nick Aldis, who you guys don't know. That's Trevor Murdoch. From Waxahachie, Texas, 270 pounds, Trevor Murdoch. Big, 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 big name in that yesterday. Yeah, the NWA locker room. Here we big go. Big. Six minutes, five seconds on the clock. Murdoch gets his ass handed to Marty Gator. Didn't even get his fucking shirt off. Kind of got ambushed. Well, it's not really up to each other. It's not like a jump start. Just stop it on him. Trevor Murdoch who can't get his feet up from under him. Trevor Murdoch did not get out of the gates on this one. What a strategy from the aggressive Latimer here taking the big man down from the back row. On the back row is Trevor Murdoch. I've never seen anyone brutalize Trevor Murdoch like we are seeing. How puffed, how puffed. That one offensive move he has to Trevor Murdoch. Damn. Heading to the outside. Oh, he's finally getting his shirt off. This could be the final qualifier. For the TV title tournament, but it's coming up on pay per view. Which one of these men is going to make it there? Zane Tom Latimer's in the driver's seat. Zane Dawson, who's one has been removed, and as a consequence, the spot's opened up. We will have a last chance match later on in the show for final spot in the tournament. Ooh, big back And a vicious Tom Latimer. Ooh, Zane Dawson's over in that broken hand. Doctors are brought Throw him back in. Trevor Murdoch in this one, he might have his health points of question if Tom Latimer continues at this pace and this level of aggression. All Latimer. But I've seen nothing from him in this match. Such a natural Oh man. A group who prides himself on his aggression, on his fighting ability, <laughs> on his will to win. So happy to have gained a contract here in the NWA and I can't Oof. believe what he's getting done to him in this ring. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Well, they didn't put him away yet. It's my weed! It's my weed! In the body, in the soul of Trevor Murdoch, he has never in his career been thrown as high. As he was thrown in the air on that pop-up powerbomb from Tom Latimer, and this is a statement. Bill fucking Karen. Tom Latimer, the big English was the world of England. <laughs> so long, we're not fucking bitching out for that. Not one offensive move. Not one offensive fucking move. He moved out of the way. Out of here, hit the turnbuckle, and he fucking rolled him up through the tree. One, two, three. Then he's laying all on the fucking camera. He got his ass fucking kicked for the whole fucking bat. That was fucking crazy that that turned out like that. <laughs> Honestly. That's not the way. I don't know the way it was going. I didn't think Murdoch was gonna fucking win. I really did. I really didn't think Murdoch was gonna fucking win that match. I didn't think that he had a chance. Hey, do you like it better when I don't have the loop on? Yeah. Where it just goes to yeah. the end. Yeah, that's the way I like it. I like the quality. I like this book way better. So anyway, Trevor Murdoch advances into the TV tournament, so he'll be fighting in the pay per view on Friday. Going for the TV championship. I mean, it, it's a tough field, though. They've uh, added some new new players into the game, which I'm pretty surprised. But we'll get it. We'll get into that more. I don't want to ruin it for everybody. If you haven't seen, didn't see Power last week, last night, you know. 
Well, I've got to say, Joe, this is one of the most bizarre situations I've ever seen in the world of the fashion. The Logic has been completely turned around because essentially the champion, Alison Kay, is having to earn the right to defend her NWA Women's Championship against the LaRosa at this Friday's NWA pay per view by beating. Yeah, it's so bizarre. Usually you have a champion that's yeah, sort of calling the shots, but Alito, proving to be right. the ultimate puppet master, now a no DQ match between these two former best friends. And you know, Allison K, she wasn't prepared for a match. She certainly wasn't prepared for a match with no disqualifications. Molina is completely in the head. Molina, Molina, Molina. All the questions before they well, are even kind of asked. Martin Bell here is just really out to do a number on Allison Kay. Yeah, yeah. Does Martin Bell really want Damn. to beat the, the champion Allison K? Because if she does, then her own money is going to get a shot at the end of the pay-per-view. So the only time she kicked him is just out here. here to suffer up oh, the champion. That was a hard shot. I don't know how much softening up she's gonna do with Oof. eating strikes like that. Allison K, but beat the dog shit out of each other. Oh. That's my wheel! That's my wheel! best friends and they are ready to rip each other's hair out, punch each other's teeth out. There could be some permanent damage. This is a no disqualification. Oh, of course, the referee keeps it close. There's nothing much he can do on the outside. He doesn't have much involvement simply oh. to, to count a one, two, three, or, or hear a submission, I suppose. But. The tide has completely shifted for Marty Bell after Allison K. Yeah, Marty Bell was getting first far up. Into the steel Oof. steps. She's coming now back. she's just picking her apart. Where's she going? She's oh, she left the ball. Oh, no, she comes to the yeah, because that's what it was. He's in the chair being used in any violent capacity. Once again, in the hands of Marty Bell, straight to the midsection of the champion, Allison K. Oh no, what is she? Oh, but joking. He's got an empty chair. Hey. Bruce I'm gonna go upstairs and see how how your voice sounds. Yeah, the Molina and Thunder Rosa somewhere else be looking off, licking their lips at the opportunity that could present Marty itself. Marty Bell fucking tearing it up. Oh, she went me first into the chair. Just out there to fucking try to fuck it off here. Two yeah, best friends will treat each other this way. Now the women's champion is back on the offensive. Really putting it on her. Really putting it on. Oh, oh man. Head of Marty Bell just bouncing off the ring. Oh, oh, yeah. We all know it's the, the hardest oh, part of the ring, but that might be paling in comparison to the concrete surrounding her. Like a moment. Cover up. There's one up into the crowd. Slugging away at each other, and the champion Allison Kay clearly got a second win there because she's back on top. The official Robert King, he's just pleading with these women, take it back into the ring. Oh, whoa. Allison Kay has completely lost sight of her own and the way women's champion. She's so desperate she to get her hands. Oh, Thunder Rosa, and ultimately Molina. Allison Kay's got no frustration. Just let all that frustration, no frustration out on Marty Bell. And the frustration of being the champion and playing second feeling to Molina and her band of ladies are fouling, as she calls them. And this still chair once again comes into the line. The spotlight is on. It's in the center of the ring. Marty Bell, that information. Maybe she's had a second thought. This is no DQ. Perhaps the form of that spread of peeling. She's having a second side, taking her arm, not going to hit her with the chair. Marty Bell wanted to get the chair and track her with it. Stops her. Right on the chair. There you go, there you 
here's your winner, the NWA World's Women's Champion, Allison Kay. Allison Kay took a lot of damage in this matchup, but also she has sent a message to Alina and a message to Thunder Rosa. Well, most oh. important, she won the match. She has been softened up by Marty Bell, but this means at the pay-per-view this Friday, we are going to see an NWA Women's Championship match. It's going to be a champion, Allison Kay, taking on the challenger, Thunder Rosa. But yeah, that was that was a good battle. That was a good match. Allison K fucking kicking her fuck out of Marty Bell. Fuck yeah! She'll be fighting at the pay per view Friday. Two now. And we got the phone lines. If anybody wants to call in, nine five five, nine five two nine five five four eight six six. It's all about the weed. Feel free to call in. All right, we got the next match. Aaron Stevens, what are you doing here? Oh yeah, I think what this is gonna this? be a demonstration, a karate demonstration. <clears throat> They're shooter Stevens. The following is a self-defense seminar and demonstration brought to you by the Mongrovian Karate Association along with the National the Wrestling Alliance. Karate Association. At this time. <laughs> I ask you to please show the proper respect <laughs> for my sensei, the man known as the question mark. It's karate! It's all about the wieners! <laughs> Do not call him a mark! Question mark! Question mark! How do you not, question mark! How do you not call him a mark when he's the question mark? What do you call him the question? I mean, you have to throw a mark in there, right? He is not a mark! Question mark! He's coming down going, I'm gonna kick your ass, motherfucker. Your ass is mine. Yes. I don't know what happened before we came out. This is not playtime, this is very serious business. Please address it as such and act appropriately. <laughs> now, silence! Silence! Now, I ask if you all may participate if you would like for the opening ceremony. We will all face Mongrovia and bow. Face Mongrovia and bow. Hi! Thank you. Thank you. Students! It's all about the weed! If you would heads. like to learn karate, you can visit the question mark dojo for the price of $99 a Let's week. Let's give it to the question mark. Now, first, the kata. The kata. The fluid movement. This stems from the modern style praying mantis waterfall technique. Look at the technique. Of karate, third degree black belt karate. To 20 seconds of excellence. Thank you very much. It's karate. I see technique. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that beautiful thing. Wait a minute. Technique. What's that? I I heard a few doubters. You you don't you don't like the kata. I don't. I don't, <laughs> motherfucker. Mon Mongrovian martial arts are amongst the most deadly techniques in the world. At times, <laughs> there are attackers. Sometimes, I, if you're one, I want you to pay very close attention because the, shut up. These oh, 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 what a fucking life. prick! Oh, he's attacked them. Oh, oh, amazing, trusted them. Amazing. Trusted them all. I think that deserves a. Now, we live in a very, very violent time. Sometimes very violent people time. have weapons. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a gun! Oh, he's got a gun! This is why Mongolia has remained a free country for thousands of years. It's these kind of techniques. 99 dollars a week, the question dojo. $99 a week to question Dojo. As we all know, 
Sometimes things can get a little wild at the home. And everyday household items can be used as weapons. Oh no! It's a spatula! Get back in your corner! You will not find that in any other system of self-defense in the world today. Question mark just wiping them off, but not a demonstration. It's just disrespectful. Uh, it's a student. It used to Gives him a slap to the head. Learn how to bow, there you are rookie. times when people try to get a little cutesy with us. And they hide things like mace, pepper spray, call it what you will. Mace, pepper spray, call it what you will. It's crazy to die. We reversed it. If that's not worth $99 a week, I don't know what is. These techniques will save your lives. These techniques will save your lives. Now, now, watch this. You think that this system is not complete? What happens when there's more than one attacker? Gentlemen, your positions. Oh, now this question mark's going to get Google on back. I'm gonna show you karate. Karate. Mongolia does not have a nuclear program, and that is why. Some they just go around karate thrust with everybody over there in Mongolia. Mongolia, I guess. Will this work? Yeah, that's the hello. In a combat situation. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Wow. You will all witness firsthand the power of Mongolian karate. Karate. Ladies and gentlemen. Changes his mind. He's not ready. <laughs> He's getting in the mood. He's getting pumped up. Oh, not quite yet ready. The teasers needs to focus. Here we go. Now he's really focused. He's really focused enough, guy. Oh, oh, he wasn't quite focused enough. Sensei. I'm ready. Shooter's ready. You ain't ready. I'm ready for the fourth degree. No, you're not. Shooter wants to be wearing his fourth degree stripes. This would be made right now. Wait, I, I, I'm ready. Oh my god. Oh break that Mongolian oath. You hear about students surpassing their masters? We could be witnessing that right now. Whatever Mongolian oath. Seems to be a little perplexed there. I can earn my fourth degree black belt. In Mongrobian karate. No, you can't. Jinx. You can't earn shit. I feel like we should be hunting the best around right now. This is a moment right now. What a historic moment we have. The opportunity to shoot a student to use your head. Use your head. Use your head. I would like to see that. He was debating it quite for a second. He wanted to go for it. So we were told. Dude, if he would have used his head, he would have knocked him over. Watch the magic happen. Oh, it's probably just balsa wood, right? That is a man that is focused beyond focus. I'm sure it's not fucking what they said it was. Mongolian oak. Mongolian oak. Wasn't You pick your spots. Ten times stronger than regular oak. So the students of the student uh, I think they're stretching it a little bit there. Oh, then, you know, $99 a week for their dojo? Yeah, that's funny. 
Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! Let's just throw it around Steven! So he gets the fourth. That is the strongest wood in the world. He's a mess! Ricky Starks! Yeah, it's Ricky Starks underneath the map, tracking fucking shooter Steven with the Margolia note. I said pick your spots, the man pick your spots! Yeah, you got a long piece of hurdle. Yeah, but I know it's a good break, though. It would have been better if it would have broke a little bit. Just seeing charge spraying all over. I mean, all they had to do was cut it like with that half. Wood. Let me tell you something. Ricky broke. Starks never, ever forgets. Ricky Starks gets the fucking shooter Stevens. Fucking Am didn't see, shooter didn't see that coming. Fucking cracks him with the Mongrovian oak right in the back. Fuck it, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see uh, sparks coming out there. I, that's surprising to me. Uh, I, you know, I had wondered why they had two rookies in the mask instead of just one. Yeah. But I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. You know. Is it? Is it because? It's all about the win. <laughs> Hell yeah! It's all about the win. It's all about. All right, we got the next battle. Okay, C.J. Anderson, he's related to Arn Anderson. I've seen him wrestle. I've seen him in the WWE. 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 I don't know if that's Arn Anderson's kid or not. But he's related to Anderson. You know, you heard of Arn Anderson. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's removed from the match. I have to say, this is the one that looks a lot like him. He's got that bald head and everything, too. It's like a Titan tournament. I think it very well could be his kid. This is the Gauntlet match. Winner qualifies into the TV tournament. It's supposed to be an eight man Gauntlet match. Leg back to the ring. We've seen eight wrestlers in here today in total. Well, every two minutes, they bring in a new guy. And he's going to pin him. You can fucking uh, choke him out or whatever. Or you can throw him over the top rope. Let me right there. Thank you, Ben, in these matches before. Is it better to try to get people out fast, wait for somebody else to wear them down? Yeah, see, that, that's one thing about Arn Anderson. He's really a really good technical wrestler. Numbers in the draw. Yeah. Like that man for how he wrestled out of our bar. You know, all kinds of shit like that. He was a real technical fucking wrestler. That was great. Yeah. I hear you, Mr. Vikings fan. So it's not surprising to see you in there. It's just like watching Arn Anderson. You see Arn Anderson a lot of the CJ Anderson, like you know, I like seeing the Rock and Roll and Red. Them are like Rich Heritage names that are well known in the NWA. Four, three, two, Heck yeah, like Flair. I like Rick Flair. Yeah, it would be nice to see Flair and his man all this guy. That was late. Well, that did not last long. That was about three seconds. Josephus has been eliminated. Josephus fucking in and out in four seconds flat. Oh, <laughs> good match, dude. Good match. That's the least of baby. See you later. Now they're back to rest. Now they're back to rest. We've got to throw it out. 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 We've got to throw it
like, why did they just put him in the back? Three seconds. It was kind of sad. John, that's what they're saying at the end. You know, you could have all eight guys battling at once if they all made it. You think that really hurts bad? Yeah, you need to talk with a little water, bro. It almost went out in fucking four seconds. Come on, Cole, kick his ass. Top out the win! Which means 
means I will not be participating tonight. You see, yeah, shut up, you don't have up. to. He's already Grow qualified. So you, don't you see, I am a pay-per-view wrestler. And if you'll excuse me, I have tickets to the greatest hair metal band of all time, BC Square. Good luck, gentlemen. BC Square. BC Square. BC Square. He has already qualified for the tournament. As he mentioned, he's going to be there on Friday at the pay per view. But see, he could have stopped fucking all these, any of these guys from getting the tournament if he would have won. Yeah. It would have been one less guy for them to have to worry about. You know, this, this guy, the Sal, Sal, he reminds me of the owner of the modest, modest jewelry. Remember him? Oh, yeah, yeah, he was. He ain't got no hair. Yeah. But I'm telling you, dude, they could be brothers, man. <laughs> they fucking, they look almost the same, and they got the same little body type and shit, dude. I was looking at them, and I was like, man, I wonder if they are dead. <laughs> Looking through, I'm telling you, I was like, what the fuck, man? The only difference is, you know, the guy who owns the brewery, his hair is all short, but... Yeah. Like a shotgun blast to the jaw. It would be fucking weird if they were brothers. He just, they just remind me a lot of each other. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the build and the... The face, the face, face and everything, dude. The body type, yeah, fucking all the all crowd fucking moves me out trying to do a move, move off the top of it. <laughs> there we go. Dawson got fucking hot piled on it. Fucking got him out. Working on that ankle. Get up when you take risks. Sometimes they don't work out. Oh, Mr. Anderson! Here we go. Mr. Anderson! I do think that Mr. Anderson is getting a little better. Yeah, he's not looking as chubby. Yeah, it looks like he actually tries to be He's still not very good. It's possible Caleb is really showing me something here. Springboard! Dragging his sometime tag partner, Cole Cabana, out of the way for a moment. Cole Cabana, out of the way. Cole Cabana, out of the way. Cole Cabana, out of the way. Hit him with the mic check. Now he's sticking out from that. Now we're down to three. Once Caleb Carly is eliminated. See, it was almost like Cole Cabana and Mr. Anderson kind of teamed up. Fucking take everybody out. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like they were beating on each other, right? Yeah, it's like they're kind of working together. Oh, CJ did pretty good, though. Uh-huh, well, how does this one break down? Sporting and Jake missed the game. buddies. Two buddies. Two buddies. Two buddies. Watch the box back out here. What is he doing here? Uh, question mark, question mark, question, question mark. Question mark running interference. Well, no idea what's going on here. Shooter Stevens is still in the match, hides underneath the apron. Hides underneath the ring. Now you got the question mark. Smithson, give a, give a shooter the double fucking karate at the top. Accidentally connecting. Now he's paralyzed. Bounce him like a yo yo. And out he goes. I like that, it's funny. And out he goes like a piece of trash. Oh, Mr. Anderson, you dirty fucker. Oh, you fucked your buddy over, man. 
Here is your you really winner, fucked him over, Mr. Mr. Anderson. He was fucking shaking hands with you. Like he fucking turned him around in small packages. That. that was some dirty shit, dude. Fuck yeah. I guess Mr. Anderson, he's doing anything to try to win that television TV title, though. And he is a possibility he fucked him over, dude. And then he wants to shake his hand after he fucked him over. I'd like to see that handshake after the rest of the I think there'll be some later on down the road. I think Colt, Colt, Colt will get his ass back, dude. Look at that shit. He's gonna give him the mic. Like, oh, what a dirty fuck. See? And they're supposed to be buddies and shit, and then he does that to him? Yeah, no shit. I mean, there was no reason to give him the mic. Like, no reason. I mean, if you have friends like that, you don't really need any enemies, do you? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I guess they're probably setting up where them two maybe are going to go at it eventually later on. Yeah. That'd be good, man. Yeah, I think, you know, that's what this is rolling down to. It looks like, you know, it looks like Mr. Anderson's going to kill Last time they were in the ring with each other, Ken Snap grabbed the ring. He's having a little bit of a break. He's having a little bit of a break. You don't need to do this, Ken. A kiss to the post. Oh, right into the post. Oof. Into the corner. Another mic check put into the post this time. I wonder who that guy is. He reminds me of Chuck Liddell with the Mohawk and shit. I've seen him out there before. Supposed to be like a bouncer or something like that. I don't know. He reminds me of Chuck Liddell. Yeah, yeah, I think he did enough damage, Mr. Anderson. I think he fucked him over enough. Crowd's called him to go away. Go away! Go away! Go away, go away, go away, uh, go that a, away. That was a good battle, but Mr. Anderson fucking did a bunch of dirty shit to Coke fucking Cabana and fucked his friend over. Fucking crazy. Got I him, can't believe that shit. Got himself into the tournament, though, which will be Friday night. <clears throat> Is that... It's all about the win! <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we, now we got the, all this... Martin Matt. It's main event time for our super show. There you see Billy Corgan, the owner so of fucking the NWA. On commentary with the William leader of the Smashing Corgan. Pumpkins, Billy, big singer. Billy, we'll out to the desk. Joe Gallagher, the owner of the NWA. Uh, <laughs> you think I want to be ringside for this match? History. He's out there to up there and keep the lob eyes, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> boy, I brought the NWA. <laughs> you would have told me I'd see Nick all this. Against Ricky Morton for the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I think you were dreaming. I think it was cool to see him out there. I was pretty fucking amazed to see him out there. Let's get it The following contest is scheduled for one fall of the 16 minute time limit and is for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Hell yeah, it is. Watch him pull out his fucking guitar and start jamming. Archive. Here's Nick Aldis with this true scripted business. Taking care of business anytime. Wild card, Carmella. <laughs> hey, you guys can call in any time, 952-955-4866. We have open lines. Give us a cow! Kick, kick, kick. Also, you can donate to the channel at https streamlabs.com slash n-w-a-p-o-w-e-r-r. But you don't have to. Cause it's all about the weed. Right you got any questions? Knock yourselves out. 
Let us know what you're wondering, what you're thinking. Introducing first, one half of the Rock and Roll Express, accompanied by Robert Gibson, this is Ricky Morton. Yeah. Ricky Morton, go back. And his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Strictly Business, this is the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, the National Treasure, Nick Aldis. One fall, 60 minutes. Yeah, I like it's gonna go 60 there. But that's kind of always been tradition for the world title man. Sweet Charlotte hangs in the mm -hmm. balance. All this I'm telling you, the they used to have it. They used to have 60 minute fucking world title yeah. matches. Hold on, hold on, like hold on, 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 hold but I'm afraid I've got some breaking news. <laughs> now, Mr. William Patrick Corgan here, the owner of the NWA, has just informed me that in order to preserve the sanctity of this defense of the 10 pounds of gold, all seconds are banned from ringside. Corgan's kind of sitting there looking like a stool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like, kind of looks like an old Santa Claus yeah. over there. Thank you very much. So Corgan changed the fucking rules, threw everybody up, threw all the seconds out. My name is Kim Corgan. Oh, oh, oh. Come sit on my lap, little kid. Mary in the VA power. Mary in the VA power. Hey, 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 all hey, 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 the greatest in the world in what they do. I want a clean canvas. You want a clean canvas. Masterpiece. I want no. Well, I don't want to say what I'm saying. I'm thinking. I want nothing but a pure match and a pure finish. A clear pure finish. finish. No, I'm not going to tell you. Going into this matchup, the, the favorite in my view was the champion. That guy was here. He is and looks resplendent. He looks almost invincible. Oh, come on, chicken shit. Get back in the fucking ring. Because he's all fucked up well, right now because he lost his crew. He's all discombobulated in his head. You see, he's over there giving Corgan the snake eye. Giving him some shit like the motherfucker. Fucking with me again. Took my fucking crew away. What the hell? Or you're going to have four people on the outside? That's fucking going to be a thing. Yeah, but you know the reality. They all do you know They have it all reversed. You think so? The politics is over. It's out the window. It's mono a mono. One on one. The ultimate battle. They gotta know everything that's going on so they know what to do. Imposing his size and his strength. The year 2020. This man, Ricky Morton, finally won't get the 10 pounds of gold. Sweet Charlotte on the line. The champion Nick Aldis clearly, <laughs> mentally, I'm sure, in disarray, given the absolute size. Perhaps Reese Bradley guys, whatever plan he had for the this is out the window at this point. Carl Tire. Carl Elbow Tire. Push Ricky Morton in the corner. You can just 
Aldous must feel like a real tough guy picking on some 65-year-old guy. I never. Have you ever heard of a move called a banana peel? What, what is it? I don't the like slip. I, I, I don't know what move Gordon was fucking talking about. It was a banana peel. He slips out of a banana peel. Is that like a special special pumpkin fucking move or what? <laughs> Billy Parker's got his own ministry called the Banana Hill. <laughs> I, I think he was trying to be funny. Hey, do you like how I have the little scrolling thing up on top? Yes, NWA Power Episode 3, the host and I'm like the fan, also hosting the show Silver Roll Hunter. Yeah. And you know what, guys? It's all about the win! Better be careful, all this that old man can fucking beat your ass, dude. You might look old, but don't judge your book by the cover. Yeah, he has experience on his belt. He has more experience than how old the ball is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has more experience. Fucking beyond, beyond experience. That fucking guy is rough. I don't know. Probably thousands of years old. He understands where he's got to be. I don't know. Yes, I don't know. They were saying that they were wrestling nine days. Damn. Monday through Friday, twice Saturday, twice Sunday. Rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. That's how you do it. Rick is your ass now. You like the smell? <laughs> 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 oh, come on. You need a break. I've seen Nick Robidoux with opponents. This is not Robidoux. Nick is genuinely frustrated. Nick Aldis, when he's defending the championship so many times, he's used the phrase, I am your father. I am the father in this matchup. He does not have this option right here. He is going to miss it. Now he's the fucking star. You know, Let's be honest, what well, Mark's probably doing fucking great in this fucking year, right? Yeah. Face first into the apron. So, like, okay, you go on the outside so I can get the... Oh, but an eye rate! An eye rate! I hope so. He's going to shoot tactics right for the referee. I don't even care, man. So cheaply, clearly. Kind of let him drop the earlier. 
Oh well, yeah, I didn't really want to really, really hurt the old bastard. Oh, really did it right. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah, that's probably what it is, is giving them breathers. Never thought about that. He needs it. You're going to make it through this full match, you need these breaks. But you probably need to roll to the outside and the oxygen mask and get some air. Just to torture him a little bit. Why do we gotta do that dirty shit to him, dude? Fucking guy fucking got one to look at him. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Fucking, he's already battling it. The challenge as it is. And he just got a rake over his eyes. Yeah, this will help your glaucoma. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. You see how he had the health him up there? He couldn't even jump all the way up. He had to get the fucking boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got you, bro. I'll lift you the rest of the way up. You made it that far. Ooh, three four. Tap all this, you piece of shit. Tap. Tap out all this. Oh. Oh, Almost got pinned from the pain. Got a two count. Oh, got another two count. Come on, break that fucking leg. Coming again. Well, now Morton can get another real break. <laughs> oh, I'm back up. I'm back up. Oh, oh gotta elbow you, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna small package you. Oh, no, all this reverses it. Pulls the tights and fucking. Oh, he had to fucking cheat that old man. Man. What a, that's some fucking bullshit. Bullshit in the house. That's like shit in a paper bag. I mean, you had to fucking cheat to beat him. What does that say about all this? <laughs> what does that say about all this that you had to fucking cheat, dude? That he was fucking scared. He was scared. Dude, yeah, I, dude, he was gonna get beat, man. He was fucking scared. He was gonna get beat. But yeah, that that was all the matches from last night from NWA Power. I think they added a Scott Steiner to it. I think, I want to say he's fighting Colt Cabana for the, uh, it's like the U.S. 
what do they call it, the National Heavyweight Championship. It used to be the U.S. title belt. And then uh, also you got, what is that fucker's name? Uh, Scrolls? Yeah, Scroll. He, they, they looks like they're, I think they're setting up possibly that Ricky, or that Scrolls is going to fucking be in the fucking main event with all this and fucking uh, Flip Gordon. And I think it's going to be for the world title. I think it's going to be for the 10 pounds of gold because they're setting up for something. Nick Aldis is supposed to go over to the Ring of Honor where Scrolls is at. And he's going to go fuck with them. So we'll see what I got to see what happens with that. Hopefully I can see that what happens there before Friday. Because that will have something to do, I think, with the storyline of the pay-per-view. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they did a lot of twists this week. Yeah. Yeah, they, that Moff. I can't think of his first name. They added him into the TV tournament, TV title tournament. He's a big fucking three hundred pound motherfucker. And you threw they threw him into the mix. Then they threw Mr. Anderson into the mix. Cause I thought it was gonna be Z Ziggy Ziggy and fucking uh motherfucking the question mark in the finals. But Yeah, it doesn't look that way anymore, uh, does it? They they fucking just three days before the pay per view, dude, they really threw some fucking loopholes in there. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, it's kind of nice seeing Corbin fucking on there, though. I mean, hey, that you know what? That's what I like to see, and I had hoped to see. But the way Corbin was explaining it, you weren't going to see him very much. But it seems like when you see Corbin, you might see him out there trying to fuck all this around. <laughs> that's what it's starting to look like to me because he threw all the seconds out. You know what I mean? And Corbin made that call on the spot. That was all him doing that. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, he was sitting there being, you know, talking to the commentator and being like, hey, hey, this ain't fair. Last time, you know, I'm fucking with, uh, with, uh, 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 what's his name? Tim. Tim Storm. Storm. That's it. Yep. Fucking, um, the lady fucking ran and fucking just charged his ass, gave him a tackle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was no outside interference, but he still fucking cheated. <laughs> she, he should have called it, you know, he should have threw his power around and said that, you got to still wrestle more, you cheated. Yeah, he, he could have, he could have thrown, he could have really, really fucked with him and said, oh, that don't count, and he fucking grabbed his tights, you know, to fucking do it, pull off that three count, and, you know, they should have... Corgan said it should, they should have had him saying some fucked up shit. Like, that was bullshit, man. I can't. And they should have got, he should have gotten all of his face. <laughs> you know what I mean? They should have had a little scrap, little thing going at it. And Corgan should have got right up in all of his face and been like, you're a fucking cheater, man. I think it would have been funny to see fucking uh, Aldous fucking give Corbin a fucking suplex. Right on the Yeah, I mean, Corgan. Right on the table. Corgan, I don't think, is going to get that involved in it. You know what I mean? I don't think he's going to be trying to put his body in harm. You know, like, yeah, go ahead. Let's slap me around a little bit. Go ahead. You know, <laughs> it'll be good for the rating, so go ahead. Let's do it. Yeah, when I was on, the rating was went up fucking 8%. Shit, I wonder if I get a fucking body slam. Well, I'll tell you this much. Fucking, it, the, the views were fucking hot because that fucking show had 70,000 views in five hours, dude. Uh, it fucking hit it, it viewed it hit views quick you know what I'm saying like it, it may end up I don't know if it'll top out at their one the very first episode I think it had like almost 600,000 views you know what I'm saying yeah but the views on this episode went up fast they usually don't go up that quick well I mean do you think it's because um, it's a week before the pay-per-view well, I think it's partially that, but I also think having Billy Corgan on there is going to add views. That's just... Yeah, but no one really knew he was going to be on until, you know what I mean? Yeah, but for all we know, 
there was some people back behind the scenes tweeting out some shit and being been like, hey man, we got a special show, you know, come on. I'm sure that some people knew. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that there was some people that fucking knew. And then I, that's why I think it's going to get a lot more views too because fucking they're going to go after it and see and be like, oh, he was on there doing commentary? Oh, I got to see that. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, but I don't know. I think it's going to be a good pay-per-view Friday. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a good bat. There's just, I think it's going to be a lot better than it's been. It's all about the wieners, Red Dick says. It's all about the wieners! <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. You got anything? Got anything to add, Silver Roll? No, I think we pretty much took care of it. All right, well, I'm your host, MN Vikings fan, other host, Minnesota Silver Roll Hunter. Yo. We'll be back uh, Wednesday nights, every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. That's going to be our time slot for uh, NWA Power. We'll be here every single week breaking down these matches. Definitely it will be a big week next week because it will be the paper, after the pay-per-view and shit. You know, uh, it's going to be a, I think, it's going to be a good pay-per-view. You know, I, I think it is worth the 20 bucks, 25 bucks or whatever if you want to buy it. Were you thinking 8 o'clock? Oh, I, I thought 7, just like we did tonight. Well, because every beginning of Wednesday, I don't get home until. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have to figure it out if we. Whatever, whatever time we set the thumbnail for. So look for the thumbnail. We'll have the time set. Right? Yep. Maybe maybe we'll try to do seven, and then maybe just once a month we'll do eight. Yeah, we could do that too. I think we should do that. Try that. See how it rolls. Try, try to most of the time be seven, but... suck a but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode three of NWA Power. We hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next week. Same time, same channel, same everything. Shout out to Redneck. Shout out to everybody else who was watching. Like, subscribe, tweet it out. And we hope you enjoyed it. And we're out of here. Peace out, ladies and Peace. gentlemen. Peace.